It may not look like it, but this machine is helping improve air quality along the Wasatch Front, as well as improve wildlife habitat, watersheds, and help bolster Utah's $500 million livestock industry. This seed drill is one of the ways a partnership of state and federal land agencies and private landowners replanted native grasses in the massive burn area of the 2007 Milford Flat Fire in Beaver and Millard counties. Seed was also flown on by plane and imprinted into the soil by special machines. The new growth, when mature, will be fire resistant, feed wildlife and livestock, and offer wide reaching environmental benefits. Our objectives here with the emergency stabilization, the seeding and the chaining,、uh, the drill seeding and the imprinter treatments are, are twofold. One, we want to restore some kind of perennial vegetation that's beneficial to wildlife, livestock, and will hold the soil in place、uh, for the long term, prevent both wind and water erosion. The other objective is to compete with and try to keep out cheatgrass. What that does for us is shortens. Our fire season and、uh, hopefully reduces the intensity and the size and frequencies of fire in this area. The blowing smoke and ash of the Milford Flat Fire degraded air quality statewide and contributed to a number of fatal auto accidents. This fire and others like it spread fast over invasive cheatgrass, destroying feed and habitat for wildlife and livestock. It also contributed to soil erosion and degraded water quality. When the fire burned it off, it was pretty much all cheatgrass. Here, several members of the Utah Partners for Conservation and Development returned to Milford Flat to check the reseeding progress. I would say one of the most successful aspects of this is that we're able to put vegetation cover back on the soil to keep it from blowing away and eroding. And we've created wildlife、uh, forage,、uh, livestock forage. Um, you know the the benefits are myriad. The the return on the investment when we get this type of a result is, is huge.、Um, this area will eventually be impacted again by wildfire, drought, all those type of things. But with the the success and the species that have been established on this site, the the return on this investment is is if we have the type of event occur on this site again or when it occurs again, we won't have to remake this investment. This area will come back. It's much more resilient. It's much more resistant to invasive species, to、uh, to, to pests, things like that. It should be much more cost-effective, much more safe for the public and for our firefighters. Hope those cows are over there eating those tumbleweeds. The fire destroyed vital winter rangeland and nearly put rancher Michael Yardley and his son out of business. Two years after the burn, they've been able to return a small herd to this reseeded pasture. And as far as the success of the the seeding, I feel feel really well. I mean, I feel real good about it.、Uh, two years ago, I couldn't have said that, but、uh, we're seeing some results now. We're seeing some some pretty decent grass out here. Other range projects, like this one in Box Elder County's Park Valley, are repairing fire-damaged winter feeding grounds for mule deer and other wildlife. Grasses that attract bugs were planted to help supply nutrients for sage grouse chicks. Well, we have forage kochia in here, and, and we have a lot of sagebrush that's coming back. So, in a few years, this is going to be a tremendous wildlife、uh, winter range for mule deer plus. Sage grouse. We've got sage grouse that that utilize this area、uh, for brood rearing and and some other activities. So we've we, you know we've kind of got a a real win win situation going here. Another goal was to replace fire prone cheat grass with more beneficial grasses. This is an area that burned about five years ago. Burned in the summer of 2005.、Uh, nothing was done after the fire. You can see that all that came back here was cheat grass and. That's what'll persist. This is very fire-prone now. Fire could come back. We get a fence line contrast. You come across the fence to an area that we just seeded after the fire. We came in here with rangeland drills that were provided by the Department of Ag and by DNR and、uh, drilled seed. And now we've got green grass. It provides wildlife habitat, provides feed for livestock, and we've also got something that's resistant to fire. Yet another project is designed to reduce the size of fires on Promontory Peninsula in Box Elder County. Fire-resistant plants were planted in long strips to act like natural fire breaks, 
So instead of the 50,000 acre fires that are common here, fires can be limited to just a few thousand acres. And so if you have fires burning out here, that smoke from those fires is going to end up at the Wasatch Front and going to be a particulate matter concern, an ozone concern, all of those concerns. Also, you'll notice on the cheatgrass areas, they're going to be a dust problem. The cheatgrass dries up, not only is it fire prone, but it doesn't hold soil and stabilize it. And so you'll have air quality issues from the dust that's raised. These partnering agencies have taken the first successful steps in the war on cheatgrass. Their combined efforts to improve rangeland health are already offering benefits to landowners, wildlife, livestock, and the residents of Utah.